uh, I have made it very clear, uh, frankly, publicly as well. India-China relations are not normal and cannot be normal if... Hi everybody, welcome to Curious. Today, we are delving into an intense topic that is Chinese agents using Nepali identities for economic warfare and covert operations against India. Yeah, it is as serious as it sounds. So if you are ready for some revelations, hit that like button, subscribe and let's get started. Recently, there has been a buzz about Chinese agents going undercover as the Nepali citizens plotting economic warfare and covert operations against India. The research and analysis wing or RAW has raised the alarm instructing internal security agencies to keep a close eye on Nepalese travelling to various places across India. Raw sources in China spilled the beans, revealing that these Chinese agents have adopted new sneaky methods. They are acquiring Nepali passports through private organizations and regional Nepalese passport offices, allowing them to enter India incognito. Once in cities like Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Delhi, they chose to settle down, often blending into the local communities, including joining ashrams, NGOs, small companies. And that's where the court operations kicks off. According to the RAW, these highly skilled Chinese spies are not just fluent in Hindi and English, but they are master of disguise, posing as Nepalese. Their linguistic skills and Nepali identity make it insanely tricky to trace their true origins. It's like a spy thriller unfolding in real life. The Chinese intelligence service has a unique modus operandi. Unlike other international security organizations, they enlist the help of journalists, ideologues, particularly those who lean towards the Marxist school of thought. They target soft civilians like researchers, policy analysts, defense and space research employees, journalists and think tanks. These agents aren't just into traditional espionage, they are also playing the economic warfare game. They penetrate the Indian market through small-scale companies, producing low-quality goods at dirt-cheap prices to establish themselves. And here is the twist. They manipulate the policy makers and think tank to integrate the Chinese market into Indian economy. And that's not all. These sneaky spies engage in social warfare, collaborating with knowledgeable individuals to a challenge government regulations. They set up shell firms, choose Indian directors and engage in cash transactions to dodge taxes, causing a significant loss of income for India. Now let's talk about some of the incidents. Chinese agents disguised as Nepalese nationals attacked an Indian army convoy in 2019, resulting in death of five Indian soldiers. In 2020, a Chinese agent pretending to be a Nepali national, was caught trying to smuggle weapons into India. This is all part of China's grand strategy to destabilize India and weaken its influence in the region. But why is China doing this? Well, first, there is a long-standing rivalry and border dispute between China and India. China sees India as a significant threat to its regional ambitions. Second, China is worried about India's growing relationship with the United States and other Western countries, viewing India as a potential ally of the West. The use of Nepalese identity to attack India internally is a serious security threat and the Indian government needs to stay vigilant. This isn't just a spy game, it's a high-stake battle for influence and power in the region. And there you have it folks, a glimpse into a shadowy world of court operations and economic warfare orchestrated by Chinese agents in the disguise of Nepalese nationals. If you have found this video useful, make sure to share it, comment your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe for more eye-opening content. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious. Thank you.